Hi, I'm Vince. Today I'm going to give you a little insight into the creative process of Broken Drum Records music, that's by Secret Archives of the Vatican and A Thousand Yard Prayer and all the other names we use. Usually we'll start with playing with a bunch of samples or maybe a rhythm and we'll often use this piece of software here which is called Cakewalk and it's available free online and it is a fully high-end digital audio workstation. Don't usually build entire tracks in here, tends to just build blocks that are then transfer over into our other computer uh, for putting the actual tracks together. One piece of software that we're using a lot is Ancient Era Persia, which you can see there on the screen. This is amazing for Middle Eastern, Persian, Arabian instruments that sound very natural if they're programmed correctly. Building blocks of a track are then transferred into our Soundscape Red hard disk recording system. This is a piece of legacy equipment now, uh, but it's still incredibly high quality sound-wise and uh, the level of editing that can be done is amazing, so we will continue to use it until it dies. If you're a music producer, you'll be familiar with the idea of editing waveforms. The version of Soundscape we have does not have MIDI, hence using the Cakewalk software for programming synthesizers and whatever. But when it's all bounced into audio, this is the place to do the editing. It is a mixing console. It's uh, once again uh, legacy equipment. I don't think they make them anymore. It's a Mackie Digital Desk uh, D8B and uh, we absolutely love it, it's an incredible piece of kit. This track started with this sound, which was taken from a sample set that I probably acquired free with a magazine or free from one of the sample set companies online. I kind of liked the sound of the groove. I then decided to put a frame drum on it, we love our frame drums. then added in a drum groove, pretty much playing the same rhythm. In both cases there's plenty of uh, processing on them and compression. So there we have our basic bedrock of the tube. Next we added this uh, squelchy synth sound. And as you can hear, it's got a lot of delay on it. It's a stereo delay, which you may not be hearing on this recording, but you'll hear it on the track. And our delays are always very much in time with the track. Then we've added in this incredibly simple synth line. Just a very small number of notes with a bit of delay on it again, so it's in time with the track. I want to put the other bits back in. Then we have the track grooving long, still has no major melodic component. Okay, back at the beginning of the track we put in this sound. This is an instrument called a kobuz, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And once again, when I put the rest of the track back in, you'll hear how it fits. The other melody instrument is this flute, which is called a caval. I'm going to rewind a bit now to just before that comes in and you can hear how we go from the last instrument to this one. Right, let's... this track we've used a couple of vocal samples which we take from various sources. We never ever bother with sample clearance so we kind of try to disguise them a bit. But they're generally not from anything commercially available so nobody has lost a sale. 
So here's a section of a track where it drops back to the basic rhythm and we get the vocal sample. So once all the parts for the track are in the system, we build the track, we structure it, and we then go to the mix. Um, mixing a track means basically balancing the volumes of different instruments at the different sections, adding effects. The very final stage is to master the track. What that means is that we make sure the track is at its optimum volume. If you've got more than one track on an album or in a mix, they need to sound that they belong together. So there might be subtle changes to the, the tonal quality of the EQ. There might be subtle changes to the volume as you go through the track so that the tunes can work together. And then it's done. Have a listen to the track Women of Syria on Bandcamp. I'll put the link in the notes that go along with this video next time.